Hello YouTube, we're back in my recording studio again. With that computer, and here. Here on the screen we have the Jack! And I have it connected with Capture One, which is what the reel-to-reel -reel is currently plugged into. So, my use for the studio, other than, you know, creating my own music with, a synth with synthesizers, is also transferring reel-to-reel, -reel, which will be important for recording guitar as well, because I record my guitar with reel-to-reel -reel tapes. So, I found Jack to be an amazing program. It, 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 the name kind of says it, you know. It uses, um, uh, it's like plugging stuff into Jack's old analog style. It's really nice. And, of course, there's our, do our Door, which is an amazing program. I absolutely love it. This is a session I opened before. Neil Young, this is the tape we're going to do. Only problem is that it's got pro it's like the files all retarded, so we'll make a new one. Make a new session, put it in documents. And we'll call it Neil Young Harvest in all lowercase this time and click new. Alright. And there we go. We have our door. Oh, okay, it normally does that. I never knew that. All right, I'm a complete idiot, so let's go back into the original session file. <laughs> Neil Young Harvest Real Tape. And we're going to move the thing all the way back to the beginning. We're going to enable record on the tape right there. Well, not the tape, but it's it, the track is in tape mode, which I like, so we're going to do it that way. All right, so this is how to record, this is how to transfer audio into Ubuntu, into uh, an audio recording program, such as our door in Ubuntu Studio, in the in Ubuntu Studio setup. However, mine's a special case and is not an Ubuntu Studio setup, it is the programs of Ubuntu Studio installed on top of plain Jane Ubuntu. So, that's a special case. But either way, you saw Jack, and that's part of Ubuntu Studio. Basically, what I've done is I've gone to the back here and put RCA cables in the output, ran them along behind here, and they're going to... You can't see a thing. Where is this? There's a green cable, like, right there. Whatever. It's plugged into the back of the computer, into the line in port. And that's what I've connected this thing to with Jack. And we're going to record with it that way. So here we go. And go. I also have this thing being monitored with uh, the JBL speakers, so we'll be able to hear what's going on. So it's recording, as you can see, which is very good. You can see the levels pretty clearly right there, which is nice. I tend to trust this program a lot more than Audacity because this program isn't in constant beta, it seems. Audacity is. So yeah, this is how to get saturated sound into a sound, into a sound studio. So not only will I be using this for music creation, but music transfer as well, which will be extremely useful. Once I might get a vinyl station going over here as well, which would be great. Now for some reason when I don't move the mouse, it stops moving, which I think might be a feature of the program actually, so that it stops latency. I'm not really sure, but uh, for anyone who's used our door before, could you let me know whether that's uh, typical or not? Because I'd be interested to know. Because when I move the mouse, it, you know, it's fine. And when I play stuff back, it doesn't lag or anything. Works great so far. And 
And yeah, this is recording with Ubuntu Studio. I'm very happy about this because this is the exact kind of station that I need. Pretty cool. And yeah, it's a good idea to transfer tapes as soon as possible before they uh, uh, deteriorate. So that's why I'm transferring these. And I'm also transferring this tape, which was recorded by somebody in 1982. And it was on XPN Radio over in Philadelphia. It was a concert in Philadelphia. And I also got Neil Young Harvest, Carly Simon, No Secrets, and the Three Dog Night album, uh, Seven Separate Fools. So I'll be able to get those transferred and get things done, which will be awesome. And even transferred over to uh, digital, tapes still sound fantastic. The, the source from tapes like these still sound fantastic because the saturation is still there. And the Revox, and the particular Revox machines have very, very, very good sound output. So that sound output is being fed into the computer, which will give me you know, deep basses and good treble, which will be awesome. I thought I'd show you guys uh, my studio setup put to practical use along with Linux and why Linux is a lot better for audio work than any other operating system. For one reason, the real-time kernel. The real-time kernel is, is why Linux beats the shit out of anything else for audio production in my opinion. Video production, you can use pretty much any operating system you want. But for, uh, for audio production, Linux is clearly the choice you want to go with, simply because of the uh, real-time kernel. So you get low latency, which is very important with audio. So, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.